everybody. Welcome to Wilmington Life. This is our premiere show. We're super happy to have you guys. I'm Mary. I'm Suzanne. And we're going to be talking to you about a whole bunch of the events that are going on here in the Port City. We're sitting right across from lovely downtown Wilmington. <laughs> and not only here in the city, but the beaches that are surrounding us and everywhere in the nearby um, neighborhoods, we've got lots of stuff to tell you about. So we're really excited right. to be here. So this is social media TV news, and you can find us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter and subscribe to us on YouTube. Okay. Right. We've got a really fun show coming up today, too. We have lots of fun people who are coming on. Um, but we just want to kind of start by talking about what's been going on around Wilmington lately. Yeah. What have you been up to? Well, you know, the most recent event that I uh, was happy to attend was our Blueberry Festival up in Burgall, North Carolina. Oh, that's so fun. And oh, just wonderful vendors, food, all the arts and crafts. They had live music out there. It was really fantastic. It was a great event. and. Um, the other thing that's happening every Saturday is right behind us is the downtown uh, Riverfront Farmers Market. Oh, well, you guys are going to go. And talk about local produce and mm. wonderful fresh food right off the local farms. I mean, it's just a, something to walk through, a beautiful day. A downtown. cornucopia of local yes, products. There it's you go. really beautiful. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they have wonderful pickles and flowers and fun foods to shop for. It's wonderful down there. Really it nice. Is. Yeah. You know, and there is the. Um, Produce box is one. There's also doorstep produce, and I think there's a few others that actually, you know, co op and get the produce from the local farmers and deliver it to your front door. Which is fantastic service. Yeah, yeah, so that's worth looking into. Awesome. It's fun when that box shows up every Wednesday, and there's your fresh produce oh, from neat. right right up the road. So. Love that. Awesome. All right, so the other thing, big in Wilmington, everywhere, music, music, music. Uh -huh. Let's talk about music. Every Friday night, literally right behind us in front of the federal courthouse, they have a downtown music series, downtown at sundown. And they have all sorts of different cover bands that come and play, and you get families that come, and everyone comes and has a wonderful time. Definitely worth checking out. And it's uh, free, which is a big deal. Yeah, and you can go to the Downtown Wilmington Inc. website and find out which bands are playing every uh, Friday night. Yeah, wonderful stuff. I went to go see a Wilmington Sharks game. Okay, this how past was that? Week. Fun, fun, fun. You and your son? Yeah, I took my son and one of his little buddies and we went and it was just so great. The stadium is really picturesque and it rained a little bit while we were there. So it had a wonderful rainbow over the baseball field. It was so much fun to take the family to go see. Really had a good time. Awesome. Yeah. Very good. And I recently got some tickets to go see Lyle Lovett at Great Lyle Lake Lovett. Amphitheater. Ooh. Have you been there to see a show? You know, I have not. I've been out to the park plenty of times and walked around, but I haven't been out to the amphitheater yet. So, yeah. But uh, maybe Lyle Lovett is my <laughs> moment. <laughs> hey, if, if that doesn't pull you out there, I don't know what will. It's a really big name to come to Wilmington. I'm really super excited. I'm going to be taking my son to that one. Yeah. I think that's a really good family show to go see. Yeah. And the park itself has paddle boats. You can do all sorts of fun stuff you know right before the show while you're there and maybe see an alligator maybe see an alligator <laughs> which is definitely exciting yeah um, and at Thalian Hall puts on a lot of wonderful shows downtown and I'm not sure if you can see Thalian from here but it's really right across the river not very far. Les Mis has been there. For Les Mis is finishing up their run they're doing that right now but they do wonderful musical theater and they have some um, children's theater programs that come around every once in a while wonderful thing to go see. Yeah. Super historic building. Um, on the show today, we have several really fascinating interviews. I can't wait to get these folks on. Um, the first one is... <laughs> I'm going to. It's uh, the president of the Pleasure Island Chamber right, of Commerce, right, right. Mm -hmm. Ms. McCluskey. Gail McCluskey, yeah. Gail, yes. From Pleasure Island, She'll which is uh, Carolina Beach and Curie Beach and um, several Fort of the Fisher areas. Fort Fisher. Fort Fisher. She said there. seven and a half miles of beaches. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic oh, yeah. spot in our state. Um, and I'm going to be speaking with Suzanne and our Mr. Scooter from the New Hanover County Public Library. Yes. This guy is yes. great. A hoot. A storyteller by nature. <laughs> for sure. And yeah, he's going to be walking us through all the wonderful programs the library has for kids and families over the summer. Also free. Yes. Big if it's one. free, it's for me. <laughs> and our third interview today, we're talking to... The ladies from the town of Holly Ridge. Holly Ridge. Mm -hmm. We had um, Margaret Richmond join us uh, to talk to us about the fireworks event that's happening 4th of July in Holly Ridge at the park, the municipal park. Right. So we have lots of wonderful, fascinating people who are coming on our show today. And we really look forward to talking to everybody. So you guys come back in just a few 
and come see us. Welcome back to Wilmington Life. I'm Suzanne. And I'm Mary. And we're here today with Gail McCloskey, of the president of the Pleasure Island Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. How, uh, how are things down in Pleasure Island? They're gorgeous, they're beautiful, and it's going to be a great July 4th week. Oh. Everyone should come see you, right? Everyone should come <laughs> to Pleasure Island. Hey! And I understand that the 4th of July events in Pleasure Island actually happen on the 3rd of July? Our fireworks show, our biggest fireworks show of the year or the summer starts on, is on July 3rd. However, it starts a little bit sooner than that. Uh, Sunday night we have our free movies at the lake in Carolina Beach. Oh, okay. oh fun. And What's, what are you showing? Um, I'm sorry you asked me that. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's Big Miracle is this Sunday. Oh, great. And then uh, uh, I can't remember what's next week. And I'm we can find out on your website, though. You can find out on our website. Pleasure uh, Island So it starts off with the, with the free movies at the lake, and everybody comes about 5 or 5.30, and they set up their chairs. And then they may stay, or they may go somewhere to Brit's Donuts, or go get a Squiggly's ice cream or something, and then come back. And then the movie starts about 8.45. Oh, that's and, neat. Um, it's, it's very, we have a great crowd. It's a lot of fun. People bring their own chairs, their own blankets. Lots of families, lot, I imagine. It's all about mm -hmm. family. And then uh, the, the vendor that does our movies for us also sells all popcorn and soft drinks oh, and stuff fun. like that that you find in a theater. But everybody can bring their own food and beverages, whatever they want to bring. And then on Tuesday night, down at the boardwalk in Carolina Beach, is um, family night. And that's from 6.30 to 8.30, and that is all free for all the kids that come out. They play games with them. They do face painting. They have a bouncy house. They do just all kinds of stuff. And usually they're visited by some sort of cartoon character, maybe SpongeBob or Dora or somebody. <laughs> and so the kids that's love fun. that. It's, that's oh, gotten really yeah. popular. Also on Tuesday, down in Curry Beach, there's a farmer's market every Tuesday from 8 to 1 o'clock, and that's new this summer. I was going to say, I hadn't heard of that before. That's, that's really cool. new. Lots of vendors come out for that. Exactly. Oh. That's, that's gotten really big. And then on um, Wednesday night, which normally there would be bingo on Wednesday night at the boardwalk, but because we're doing our July 3rd fireworks on Wednesday, there won't be bingo. But this, uh, this Wednesday is our largest show that we have. And there's also a band that plays. They start at 6.30. Um, this Wednesday is Machine Gun, which is a very popular yeah. band locally. So they start at 6.30, and they play until 9.30. Wonderful. And then uh, Thursday night, even though we're not having fireworks this Thursday, there will be um, a band playing on Thursday. Then wow. Friday night. Look at this week. Busy, busy. <laughs> yeah. Friday, on the second and fourth Fridays in the month of June, July, and August, we have free concerts down at Fort Fisher at the Air Force Recreation Area. We do happen to have one this Friday, if y'all are filming or showing this before then, uh -huh. um, which is tomorrow night. It's a Jam Sandwich, which is another local yeah. favorite oh, band. fantastic. And then on Saturday, there's the Farmer's Market at Carolina Beach, and that's been going on for quite a while, and that's real popular also. And then, uh, once again, Sunday, we have our movie. And then also new this year, down at Curry Beach at the Oceanfront Park is Boogie at the Park. And so from 4 to 7, they have live entertainment, really good bands, all, you know, with all their lineup. And then uh, we have our movie that night. Now, all of this information, you can go <laughs> yeah, to our website right. at pleasureislandnc.org to get the information. Okay. And one good thing for people to know, because all of our events are outdoors, yeah. and so, of course, it's weather permitting, if, they, if they're on Facebook and if they'll like our page, which is Pleasure Island, anytime we cancel anything, we have it on that uh, Facebook okay. page immediately. That's great. That right. is wonderful. So we'll find Pleasure Island on Facebook. You can find Wilmington Life on Facebook and reach out to Pleasure Island and find out about their happenings and events. Again, the website is pleasureislandnc.org, correct? That's correct. And it sounds like once you're down there, you're never going to want to leave. I know. That's right. There's That's so right. much to do. Right. I'm really impressed. And it's really, really good because they're all free. I mean, most of those are free. If so. it's free, it's for me. That's so right. We'll definitely have our boys yeah, down there yeah. to take part in events. And thank you so much for coming and joining thank us Thank you for today. having really me. really appreciate yeah. it. Really appreciate you guys. We'll come back in just a few minutes with our next interview. And uh, stay with us. Hi 
everybody, welcome back to Wilmington Life. We're here with Scooter, or excuse me, Mr. Mr. Scooter, Scooter, from yeah. the New Hanover County Library. Welcome. Hello. 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 Thanks uh, for coming. Yeah, right across the street, right across the river here, <laughs> be the beautiful downtown library. And Scooter has one of the things to tell us about the free programs they're offering for children this summer. I'm so excited. Tell us about it. That's right. Summer Reading Club 2013. Going to be summer like you never seen. <laughs> We've got so many free programs. Um, pretty much every Saturday we have a performer coming in big time. Like we had a magician on just this past Saturday. Okay. Uh, coming up, we've got this guy Flow Circus. It's a one-man vaudeville variety show. He does juggling jokes. It's like a circus act on wheels. It's amazing. Oh, fun. Uh, we've got on Friday mornings, Dock Street Mystery Kids. It's like Scooby-Doo Live. Kids can come to the library and solve a uh, different That's mystery scary. every week. They have like performers <clears throat> in front of them that are performing a little mystery show. Absolutely. There's four actors. They come in. Um, it's called Super Saturday Fun Time. They perform at theater now every Saturday. But on Fridays, you can check them out for free at the library. Oh, neat. That's great. Very what cool. age groups do you uh, say? That's for school age and up. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, we've also got a film club for kids, which is on Fridays. Oh, uh, it's from 2 to 4 right over here at New Hanover County Public Library, Main Downtown. Kids come, they write their own story, their script, they pick their role, they uh, act and star in the movie and edit it. And Well, it's so apropos here in Wilmington where we have so much film going on, so you can start them early. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Yeah. And all they have to do is show up, all the equipment and everything is there and taken care of for them. Yeah, right? we have three computers for editing footage, 12 for working with this program called Scratch, which is computer uh, coding for kids. And you just drag the code into the timeline and you can make your know, the characters called a sprite. You can make them do all sorts of crazy things like oh, glide and spin it. and make games. Looks like a cartoon. Um, <laughs> That's got to be wow. so exciting for it kids, is. I can't imagine. And you said something about doing some stop animation work too. Yeah, we have eye stop motion on uh, one iPad and it connects to this thing called a ready animator, which is like this arm. And you can create a set and move clay or little figurines and just through pictures, tell stories and make own, your own films. It's a lot of fun. That is That's a lot of fantastic. fun. fantastic. You mentioned earlier something too about yoga and kids. Tell us about that. Yeah, Miss Susan does uh, yoga story time Fridays at 1030 right here, downtown library. Um, she's a yoga uh, certified yoga instructor and a children's librarian. So she'll tell some stories, have the kids do different poses. Lots of movement, lots of fun. You could be a lion, you could be a monkey. You just don't know what kind of animal or, or thing you're gonna be. Oh, how <laughs> much fun. And that's for school age kids too? Uh, we have a preschool one, Fridays at 10.30. And then there's also a tween and teen one for older kids. Oh, nice. Uh, I believe that's on Thursdays. Free also. Yeah, but check out the online calendar oh, for yeah. all those other events. Tell uh, us your website again. It's nhclibrary.org. We got a rap club Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're doing some rapping. Rap Let's hear about that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Wednesdays in Myrtle Grove at three o'clock. Kids can come. They pick their own beat. We choose a topic of the song. Uh, yesterday we rapped about ice cream, so kids were shouting out Rocky Road, Pie a la Mode, <laughs> Ben and Jerry with a cherry on top. Oh, you, nice. You've got this nice. down pat. Seems like you've done this rapping thing before. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> we can talk about ice cream all day. That's fine with yeah. me. Could do a little lime sherbet about right now. I could yeah. go for something, a little gelato maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Well, as we said, you know, this is Scooter from the New Hanover County Public Library, and he has mentioned his website. You can find out all sorts of fun stuff that they're doing, not just for kids. I'm sure there are other free things to do um, down at the library. Um, so check it out. And I'm going to be taking my boy for sure to the film Absolutely. club. He's going to love it. I have a ham at home. It's We're coming to the it. rap session. Yeah, I mean, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like there's a day that you could walk through the doors and not have something fun going on. So yeah. thanks for what you're doing and thanks for joining us. And we'll see you at the New Hanover County Public Library. Yeah. yeah for you sure. guys come back in a minute. We'll have another interview and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Wilmington Life. I'm Suzanne. I'm Mary. And we are here in beautiful uh, Battleship Park. And we have joining us today uh, Margaret Richmond from the town of Holly Ridge. 
Margaret, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks Welcome. for having us. Yeah, thank you. Especially Coming. It's kind of muggy day. It's a little it bit a little um, sticky. damp out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little warm. Hey, lovely it's, breeze though. <laughs> so first question, so everyone knows, is in relation to Wilmington, where's Holly Ridge? How long did it take you to get here this morning? Let's start. <laughs> Holly Ridge is lo located about halfway from Wilmington to Jacksonville on Highway 17. And we took the bypass and took us about 25 minutes to get here. Okay, so right up the road, easy right the shot. Road. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. And you guys have a big event coming up? We do. We Fourth. have a 4th of July celebration. We named it this year the Liberty Fest, and um, it is taking place July 4th from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, the fireworks will go off around 9.05 at dark. Mm -hmm. um, the park opens though, and we'll have bouncies for the kids, and we have cornhole and, um, Vendors. Well, is the um, is the that's all right. Is the is the park called Holly Ridge Park? It's the Holly Ridge Municipal Park. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's neat. Well, you were mentioning to us earlier that there's a really interesting reason why it's such a big deal for you guys this year. Why don't you fill us in on that? Right. Um, because the base Camp Lejeune is not able to have their fireworks this year. That's hmm. displacing about forty thousand spectators. Wow. So those forty thousand folks, lot. their family members need. To find some place to go and watch fireworks right. and a lot of families on the base a too lot of families you know on the base. young kids and obviously it being july 4th on a military base it's a pretty big holiday it's a big holiday yeah. yes um so we're hoping wow. that a lot of those folks come to join us for liberty fest again july 4th at three o'clock is when it starts um the vendors will be there for food and beverage we have uh craft vendors or retail vendors um, yeah so you have live music going we have on a DJ, okay a DJ for the day Oh, wow. It's going to be a, obviously, you say fest, so there's lots of various things going on. Things for kids are happening? Things Families for kids are happening. Off. We encourage blankets and coolers, um, but we do have the bouncies there. The park has park equipment for them to play on. Okay, um, nice. It's a lot of fun. So you can really come and make a day of it. Make a day out of it. And just wait for it to get dark. Right. <laughs> That's right. Where the real show is dark. That's right. <laughs> I imagine that you have to have maybe even a bigger fireworks production than your normal annual event. We actually have not increased the amount of fireworks that we've had in the past. The fireworks themselves are have always been big and we expect them to be, you know, as fabulous this year as always in the past. Um, mm -hmm. We just have more people to see them this year. Oh, well that's so wonderful of your town to, you know, volunteer to help out with the base. That's We're a good Happy good to idea. do it. Yeah. Um, do you have a website that you might be able to go to and check out all this information? We do. It's townofhollyridge.net. Okay. And um, any questions or more information needed, feel free to just visit there. Wonderful. Obviously, in this area, we've got lots of wonderful things going on um, on the 4th of July. But it sounds like this one's going to be a really special celebration up in Holly Ridge. So if you're from that area, go check it out and go see what's happening for all the families around town. That's right. Wonderful. It's going to be a fun day. Yeah. Well, again, thanks so much to thanks all of our guests Thanks for joining us. It was yeah. nice to meet thanks you. Thanks for joining us. so hot out here. So it is it's, really, <laughs> it's really wonderful to have you. And we will be back in just a little while to wrap it up here on Wilmington Life. And on the spiritual side of Wilmington, let us tell you about a few of the wonderful charity events and church organizations that are coming around town. The mission of most churches is to spread God's love and healing to the other communities and cities. Global River Church here in Wilmington is involved with a multi-church program called Boots on the Ground. The inner city program has been featured in the news. We had a chance to talk with Michael Thornton of Global River Church. More about Boots on the Ground program. Boots on the Ground was an initiative started by Chief Ralph Evangelist of the Wilmington Police Department two years ago in order to combat the violence in some of the downtown Wilmington neighborhoods. And basically it's a prayer march that goes through different communities of the city once a month, the first Saturday of the month. Um, Pastor James Jameson, who is a chaplain with the Wilmington Police Department, heads up Boots on the Ground, and uh, he has been doing a phenomenal job. Boots on the Ground has impacted the neighborhoods. Uh, for instance, we just uh, went out this evening at 9 p.m. this past Wednesday night and served hot dogs, and uh, 300 hot dogs went in 60 minutes. And uh, just to say that we love them, we're there for them, we offered prayer, 
and it really meant a lot. Um, it's also pulling local churches together and, and breaking down walls of race and denominations. Um, we're coming together to, to prayer march because we're basically saying we want God back in Wilmington. Boots on the Ground has been going um, once, once a month Saturday, every Saturday prayer marching in different communities, smaller communities. But on November the 2nd, this is leading up to a citywide prayer march that's going to go on in downtown Wilmington, North Carolina. And uh, what we're doing is Wilmington has a fascinating history, both good and bad. And in 1898, uh, there was a death march that resulted in the Jim Crow laws for the entire South. A lot of people were murdered, black people, uh, Indians. It was, it, was, it was a bad time. So what we're doing is we're coming together November the 2nd, and we are going to reverse the curse, and we're going to retrace the steps of 1898 prayer march under the umbrella of God belongs in my city. And, and we're saying that we're coming together, boots on the ground, leading the way, that we want God in our city of Wilmington again. And uh, there'll be plenty of times to up plug into that if you would like. You can contact me, uh, Pastor Michael Thornton at Global River Church, 910-330-1597. Or you can email me at mthornton, T-H-O-R-N-T-O-N, 80 at yahoo.com. Um, also, Linda Raleigh is the events coordinator with the Wilmington Police Department. She has been keeping the schedule and list of events and programs for Boots on the Ground. Um, you can contact her as well through the website. This is Rob Ross for Wilmington Life. So that's our show for today. Thanks for coming by, everybody. And what wonderful, exciting things are going on. Such a wonderful time of year, July 4th. There's the wonderful fireworks up at Holly Ridge and all the kids' programs at the library. you got to be and kidding me. And who knew how much was going on at the library? I it's mean. not just for books anymore. You walk, <laughs> it sounds like any time you could walk through the door, and there's really neat things happening there. So that's yeah. a definite must-check out. Super. And Pleasure Island, of course, a wonderful, beautiful, natural environment, not to mention all the wonderful things they have going on for families and what they have coming up for the 4th. The food, the music, mm. and there's rides on the boardwalk. We didn't even oh, get to that. Yeah. You know, all, the, all the rides. So take the family, take your friends. Uh, I don't think you'd leave the island once you get there. So. <laughs> yeah, really so, fun. yeah, wonderful. Come back and join us on Wilmington Life next time, and we really look forward to having you. Thanks so much, y'all. Find us online. <laughs>